Welcome to Imaging Sciences Exporting Images with Treatment Studio tutorial. This video will show you how to use the Gallery tab to store and retrieve images for export and how to import additional images. To begin, let's move an image to the Gallery. We'll start by going from the Arts section view to Super Pano. To capture the panoramic for inclusion in the Gallery, select View on the menu bar and then select Capture to Gallery. In the dialog window, select Pano. You can choose any of the other listed view options. Click OK. In the Capture to Gallery pop-up window, you can change the image name to one that may be more descriptive. You may change the image type, either Captured or X-Ray. For now, we will leave as Captured but could be saved as X-Ray, which would allow for the use of the image enhancement tools found in the Gallery, which we will explore later. In the comments section, you can add any pertinent information you would like to associate with the image. Click OK to move the image to the gallery. Select Gallery from the toolbar. Let's begin our discovery of the Gallery tab by examining the control panel. In the Images section, we see patient images that have been moved to the gallery. Left mouse click on an image name and the image will appear in the rendering window. If you would like to change the image name, left mouse click once on the name, wait a moment, then click again. Enter the desired text, then push enter on the keyboard. You may crop any image to remove unwanted visual information. Let's do this with the art section image. To activate the cropping function, select either the cropping icon on the toolbar or the crop current button which is located just below the images. Next, move any of the sides of the box that surrounds the image to remove unwanted information. Cropping is done from the outside edges of the image inward. When you have finished cropping, right mouse click and select either Yes to replace the original image or No to add the newly cropped image to the images in the control panel. Let's edit another image. We will choose the 3D volume image. We want to remove the spine, the hyoid bone, and a partial image of the chin cut. You can see that if we remove the hyoid, we would also remove a portion of the chin. In this instance, we would want to go to the Volume Render tab and recreate the image and clip the unwanted information before we move it to Gallery. Let's select Teeth Mode. Next, select the right lateral repositional icon on the toolbar. Select the Freehand Sculpture icon from the toolbar. Hold down the left mouse button when you are ready to begin and move your mouse until you reach the end of the area you wish to remove. Release the mouse button and move the scissor cursor to the area you want to remove and left mouse click. If you cut any desired information by mistake, click edit on the menu bar and select undo. As before, to save any image to the gallery, click view on the menu bar, then click capture to gallery. In the dialog window, change the image name or add comments if desired. Click OK to send the image to the gallery. Let's choose the newly created 3D volume view to see that the undesired information was indeed removed. To remove an image, click on the image name and click the Remove button. To remove all images, select All and click the Remove button. If we close this scan without saving, these images would not appear in the gallery when the scan is reopened. There are several ways to save images to the gallery. 
You may save the scan as a project file by going to the menu bar and selecting File and then selecting Save as Project. You can select the location where you want to save to and modify the file name if desired. Saving as a project will create a file that contains only changes made to a scan. Changes can be gallery images, measurements, implants, etc. The advantages of a project file is that the file size is much smaller than a full scan file requiring less computer storage. Scans will also open faster. Or you may save the entire scan with the changes by going to the menu bar and selecting Save As. Save formats available are in Vivo, SingleFile.com, or MultiFile.com. As with the Save As project, you can select the location where you want to save to and modify the name if desired. You may save just the images by clicking on the image you want or by selecting all and then clicking on the export button. You will be given the choice of the save location and the image format. You may then import an image to your practice management software, print it, or share it with others. You may attach any or all of the images to an email automatically by selecting the image or images and clicking the email function. Presently, this function only operates with Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird email clients. The control window also offers an import function for traditional image formats like JPEG. Click the Import Images button and browse your computer to find an image that you would like to include in the gallery. If you did not enter comments when you moved an image to the gallery, or if you would like to add to or change any comments made, you can add notes by simply typing into the comments box. In the control window, there are several enhancement features. These features are activated when you choose to move a Ceph image from the Super Ceph tab to the gallery as an x-ray, by sending a section view from the section tab as a section, or by choosing to save the panoramic view in the Super Pano tab as an x-ray. Let's go to the section tab and save an axial section view as a section. Then we will send it to the gallery. Now that we have moved the axial section image to the gallery, let's click to select it and utilize the image enhancement features to adjust the visual characteristics of the image. To print an image, select the desired image or choose All. Click File on the menu bar and choose Print. You may print images directly from any of the viewing tabs as well. This concludes the Imaging Sciences Exporting Images with Treatment Studio tutorial. For additional information, recommendations, or assistance, please contact Imaging Sciences Technical Support at 800-205-3570 or by emailing ISICUST Tech Support at ImagingSciences.com. From all of us at ICAT, thank you.